why I started this YouTube channel. To answer that question, I really have to tell you guys a little bit about myself, my past, my fitness journey, um, why this stuff's important to me, why I want to sit here and I have the passion and the desire to sit here in front of a camera for you know, 10, 15 minutes at a time talking about topics like this. Why is health important? Why is fitness important? Why are these things that I'm discussing important to me in particular? So we go back, you know, we rewind a little bit. What, um, what started my fitness journey? So I was a little second or third grader and our school had something called the Milers Club. And in the Milers Club, what we did is ran laps at lunchtime and we ran laps and laps and laps. And um, every time you ran a lap successfully, you got a stamp on your little scorecard. And every day at lunch, they would then tally up how many points or score laps you had. And then throughout the entire year, you had a um, a ranking system of who ran the most laps. And I kind of told myself like, this is pretty cool. You know, I love, I love running. I like running laps and I can push myself to run the most out of anyone in my school. And for me, um, I wasn't, you know, super popular. I was a really small, short kid. Didn't maybe have a ton of friends. And I, I wanted to, you know, maybe prove my worth in some way that I can put my mind to something for a long period of time and achieve, you know, something pretty cool. So every day I, I had that, that drive, that motivation to run, um, to, to, to run laps and collect stamps and to collect, um, you know, eventually what would become, um, you know, your ranking for the year. And, and for that year, we got number one, we got, we got rank one. And I was really, really, really happy and fulfilled with that. And as a, as a, as a third grader, I learned the lesson that if I set my mind to something and I stuck to that thing and I didn't give up and I tried hard, then I could achieve something, right? And that is one of the primary motivators for, um, for any physical practice or sticking to something is it teaches, you know, of course you get the strong body and this, you know, physical appearance and, and learning something cool can be rewarding and fun, but you also build a strong mind. And for me, that is, that is the motivator behind creating this channel. It's to share that, when you build a strong body, you, you can build a strong mind, right? You can, you can set your mind to something and stick to it and not give up even when you feel like shit or you don't want to do something. And if you stick to it long enough, you're going to see results. You're going to see something um, fruitful from that. And that's pretty darn cool if you ask me, right? Um, so my fitness journey, I started in, in running and in Myler's club and, and I loved it so much. And I, um, was running in cross country and track and field and in sixth grade, so that's middle school for us in the US, I got mononucleosis. This was uh, EBV virus, Epstein-Barr virus. It uh, wasn't fun, it wasn't pretty. I was in the hospital and uh, you know they thought I might not make it for a little bit. It was not a, a fun experience. I remember a lot of it I was unconscious, but I remember I had a catheter in my chest, I had um, they were taking my blood from, you know, an IV, um, whatever it was, and I'm throwing up and there's a bunch of doctors talking in a room and it just sucked. I remember I was like, man, I don't even know if I want to be here. This like, this really, really, really sucks, you know? Um, but we eventually, we kind of pulled through <laughs> grace of God and miracle. We, we pulled through and, uh, we did get the diagnosis. It kept coming back negative. They were like, is it mononucleosis? Is it EBV? No, it's not. It's not. Um, let's retest, let's retest, let's retest. And eventually they found out it was, I got on the right treatment and I um, survived. <laughs> and that was, that was awesome. One of the downsides though is when I got back to running and that was really my first love. My first love was, was running. I loved it. I, I just, you get a high, you get outside, um, you get the sunlight on the skin. I mean, you just feel great, right? And, and I got back to running and it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same, um, unfortunately, <laughs> when I got back to it. Um, little athlete's asthma. I was like wheezing and it was really hard for me to get back in that rhythm. And, um, you know, at that point in middle school, a lot of like my coaches were like, wow, like you were, you know, incredible runner. You, I, you know, ran a lot in third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. So by the time I got to middle school, I had hundreds of miles under my belt and I was in, you know, great shape for that, that time period of my life for, for running. And I was like, man, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to, you know, be the best runner in our middle school. And then I'm going to high school. I'm going to go into college. That was the trajectory my life was on. Right. And, um, and then, 
I, uh, you know, had the athlete's asthma and things changed and I found World of Warcraft, I found gaming and, and gaming, there was a ranking system and, and ranking system and wow, you could be on a leaderboard and go for rank one and, and stick to something and, and get better. And I got really, really, really addicted to the game of PVP, of trying to rank, of trying to get better, trying to outdo myself. And to be honest, that kind of um, took the, the primary um, drive or desire in my life for a little bit of like, okay, let's, let's play WoW PvP and do the best we can in this. And I played that for a very, very long time and still do. And, I, and, and you know, the game is great. Um, but for a while there, I started to get really lean and frail and kind of like actually more like skinny fat and just not, didn't go outside, didn't push my body. And uh, in my, you know, as the years passed in high school, you know, I did a little bit of weight training here and there, but not, not nothing crazy. I started to notice a mental decline, physical decline, the mindset start to decline. And I think one day I kind of looked myself in the mirror and I was like, this, this isn't okay. You know, I'm, I'm not being the best version of myself. I, I look myself in the mirror and I'm like, I, I am, you know, letting myself slip a little bit you know, and when I, when I'm not working out, when I'm not moving, when I'm not pushing myself for new PRs, when I'm not trying something new, when I'm not doing something new, when I'm not, um, you know, developing the, my physical body, which is, you know, developing the mental, like we talked about. And when that, when that's not there, when that's absent, I start feeling depressed, down, sad, not happy, not excited, not motivated. Right. And <laughs> that kind of gets back to the, the, the start of this video why am I starting this YouTube channel? Because I think a lot of other people are in the same boat. And I think from my experiences, I just want to share that and share that I've been there. I've been that person that is just like, maybe a little down on themselves or, or, or sad or depressed. And it's like, man, I don't want to do anything. And then I kind of notice, like, wait a minute, who am I? Like, let me get back to my roots here. Let me let me start moving again. Let me start training again. So when I was about 21, ish I, I believe i was in college and i i was like okay this is this is going to be a priority again right um like it once was and maybe if i can't run maybe i'll start getting into to other types of fitness so i started getting into more of a bodybuilding style approach of training strength training I, i've always loved strength training and um i kind of started picking it up again i started doing my research started going online started doing all that kind of thing and um, I was like, man, this is, this is some pretty cool stuff. So I started training. I started feeling really good again. I started feeling like myself again. I started feeling like Josh again. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I was missing getting outside, moving, getting some sunlight on the skin. Like, duh, like everything we talked about in the last video. Like, I know better than this, but it's really easy to let yourself slip and to get in the mindset of, of you know i don't i don't need that or i'm better than that or you know all that kind of stuff and it happened right anyway we got back on the train and started feeling really freaking good and this was seven years ago i'm 20 i'm turning 28 so i suppose seven years ago now and i think you guys have seen uh, the people that have been following me for a long time on on the twitch on the youtube instagram twitter that this has been a very big part of my life for the last seven seven years or so and i've started trickling the type this these types of content um into the gaming streams into of course the workout streams of course if you've seen my instagram um and then even some mindset stuff over on youtube right on on the main youtube channel um maybe one day this will be the main channel um hit that like comment subscribe button anyway um it kind of happened that way where this was something that was really authentic and true to me that really, really helped me. And I, I was like, maybe this could help others. And having your mom or dad or parents or, or you know, father figure tell you, oh, make sure to go hit a workout. Sometimes it's just like, I know I should, but having someone um, say it in a different way, maybe it's um, someone from a different influence. Like if some of my favorite YouTubers at the time told me to go hit a workout and then game, maybe I would have listened. But for a long time, I was just in my room, you know, staying up all night, not working out, not eating right, not socializing, not getting sunlight, not getting these basic things. And I was feeling bad, right? Change those things up, I'm feeling better. Wow, that's cool, I wanna share that, right? And and that's why we're here sharing, man. I mean, that's, that's basically the point of the video. Um, yeah. So 
college, fast forward a little bit, I started getting more and more into bodyweight training. Um, the last few years, I've been doing less barbell movements and more movements within the body weight. So working on like one arm chin ups, handstand push ups, planche, pistol squats, Nordic curls, these types of um, more advanced body weight uh, movements, and I've been falling in love with it. Right? Uh, I'm not the type of person to say one way of movement is the best and everything else sucks. Like if you're into you know, whatever you're into in terms of movement, that is awesome. You know, for me, the body weight training has been such an incredible journey over the last year or two, or maybe a little bit longer. So it's just something I've really, really enjoyed. So we've kind of picked that back up and have been running with that. Um, but yeah, between lots of research myself, I did get my um, CPT certified personal training um, certificate or whatever it's called. <laughs> And uh, with that, just been learning and researching and doing a bunch more research on my own. And I'm like, cool, you know, trying through trial and error. And I wanna share that with you guys. So everything I've learned, everything that seems important to me, is gonna be here on the channel. My approach to nutrition, my approach to fitness, um, progressions, day in the life, vlogs, eating, all that kind of stuff. That is why we started the channel. And hopefully it's helpful for even one of you guys out there all right, hopefully it's helpful for a lot of you guys out there. And that's the stuff that's going on in here and I wanna get out there. So with that guys, if you enjoyed the video, if, you, if you're gonna enjoy the, these types of videos, this channel, if all of that sounds interesting and something that you might like to be a part of, hit that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. And of course guys, we have the bodyweight program, the cookbook and everything, links are down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.